Hello there everyone, um, this is um, a tutorial for basically um, Face Robot. Uh, it's not as good as some of the tutorials that are out there, Some of, one of which I will specifically advertise for your own reference. Um, you want to visit the Face Robot wiki community, because um, on there there are a load of quick time file tutorials which I don't doubt will be better than this one. At least at the moment while I'm still kind of feeling my way around the application. Uh, again here you can see I've been personally going through them just to try and get an understanding of the application itself. Um, now this tutorial is primarily for um, uh, rigging um, and basically just to show you how the um, interface works that I've been using for uh, this uh, animation. Um, okay so first of all I will open an older version of this head. Uh, the very first rig which was 1.3 um, I would like to thank specifically uh, Mr. Stuart Marsh for providing the screen recording software um, and with that in mind I will go over a few of the basics about um, soft image well GUI anyway um, now when I first walk, when I first stepped into here I really didn't know anything about 3D modeling so um, you're going to kind of have to bear with me uh, well I did have experience with Max but this is completely out of my way at the moment so okay so first of all when you um, when you bring your head in you need to make sure that he has eyes teeth a, a top teeth a tongue and bottom teeth because it really does require all of them to be affected. Um, I also explain the controls quickly. Uh, you hold S and left click to move around the move the mesh around. Um, well, basically from the front view. Uh, it's good for moving it up and down. Um, and S and right click to kind of orbit around the head itself. Um, the keys you'll be primarily using are um, X, which is for scaling, C, which is for um, rotating, and V, which is for moving, basically. Um, and Control Z will undo any moves you make that you you know don't want, but be be warned it can only go back so far. Now, when I first brought this mesh into Soft Image, it had couple of problems. Um, first of all the eyes were not centered to the axes. Um, so basically when you rotate it you're meant to be it's meant just meant the only eye, the eyes meant to rotate centrally instead of rotating around something else. Um, the best way to do that is to click the eye and then go into the transform pack uh, no the point pane up here. You select all of the points like that uh, just by clicking off any tools you've got by pressing you know, any button like the any tools you've already got selected. Uh, highlight all of them like that and then go transform and then move center to vertices and that moves the central point of the eye to be central which is very handy. Um, <coughs> so once you've done all that and you've got both the eyes in alignment uh, the other problem I had at the beginning of this, I mean this is still assembly stage in step one. Um, basically these buttons down here diagnose any problems with your mesh. If you click diagnose it will tell you if there's any problems. And I mean usually the ones I faced was the eyes not being central. Um, there being three hole, no four holes in the mesh. One for the mouth and two for the eyes. Um, Soft image actually has tools which build these in for you um, but I would recommend not using them because um, bad things can happen if you do I mean if you look for example through here it's just basically pulled my mesh uh, mouth and just it doesn't look very good when you open the mouth sadly the eyes didn't turn out as bad as they could have because um, basically you just go in here and you pick an eye hole and then it finds the hole itself and then you click sockets and it fills the socket in. I didn't do eyeball because I already had eyes in place but I assume it does the same thing with the eye. And then the mouth 
you can just click the hold the mouse and go into and click interior and it fills the interior for you but again it pulls the verts of the face so it's not recommended well at least I would recommend it if I was doing it again um, <clears throat> anyway this is the uh, viewport up here uh, you've got shaded um, again this is very much uh, choice I mean you can have shaded uh, you can just have the boxes so you can see the tools uh, you can have the wireframe mode so you can see the wires the uh, depth queue actually yeah, it's just a paler version of the wireframe I open that um, in lines there you, go. you can kind of see the mesh really you know lightly um, and constant which is just flat colors but kind of gives you the idea um, and then but you, the main one you'll be using a lot well I do specifically for this just to see I just so I can see how the face is deformed and is shaded um, if you've got textures on you can choose texture and it applies the texture you've already got onto the mesh um, so for now we're just uh, on textures um, <coughs> you can have all of these off if you want them off um, but I would advise them on because I don't know to me that doesn't look as good as it could have it still looks a little bit blank without any textures so headlight on just basically so you don't see any darkness just see evenly all round um, the wireframe just so I can I don't know it's just nice to see how the, the folds in the face go when you're going ahead with it um, and then x-ray which I keep on because it allows you to see the tools through the head um, but you don't have to have it transparent. I mean, if you click here, yeah, if you click display options down here, it allows you to alter what X Runway Road does. Uh, overlay is just basically it allows you to see the stuff behind it, but it, the tools behind it, but it allows you to see the mesh in full detail. Screen and transparent are also very useful though because they allow you to still see through the head. I mean, screen's a more paler version um, that kind of gives you a bit of both worlds, which is nice to have. Um, but anyway, now that's a uh, broad little look over the interface um, very quickly uh, so basically you pick the objects down here uh, basically yeah, face which is your central mesh, left eye which is your left eye, your right eye which is the right eye there, your mouth interior uh, like upper teeth and lower teeth and then the tongue at the bottom. Once you've got all those in place and it's basically just clicking and choosing them it's really really simple um, the next stage is to do a scan now when you click the scan it will evaluate all of this um, and then you just basically pick points on the face so for here um, you just click each point it tells you to do now you kind of tr have to try to get this as symmetrical as possible if your mesh wasn't central you are going to have a bit of bother I mean, it might do one side completely, you know, wrong because you are. I mean, you don't have to do a symmetrical face, but uh, for this one, it was completely symmetrical. I was under the impression anyway. Um, usually, you know, there will also be tear ducts here. Uh, this mesh is not complete, as said before. Uh, that's the top. That's the bottom. And that's that. I'm just doing this very broadly, just so you get the idea. Uh, that's there, and then that one there, and then it's just basically. Um, attaching where you think it would go and then under there and then there and then the middle lip um, you kind of want to probably you might want to take more time with this because it it does kind of define how your mesh goes and you don't get a chance to come back here I mean I've googled it and I, I never can find any of it um, so yeah I mean I'm just doing this really broadly for you just so you can see the idea um, under the ear there and then the top of the ear there and then once you've done that it's kind of just got the points and it's done it symmetrically so all you do is right click uh, basically it just tells you what you have to do on this side of the screen then you click um, fit and I'm not going to do that because it will take a while. I will just take us to the next stage, which is step four. Um, because, yeah, I mean, th it's good to do it, but it can take a while to uh, take each change that you do. So it's usually, I'm just doing this to uh, just for quickness, basically. Um, so this is uh, a stage four fit, what happened after. It just assigns all these points to the face. 
and you really want to get this as accurate as you can as well. Um, that's for your jawline basically, so 